Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Kev Shed. Today I'm going to make another llama. As you can see, I've made one here before. Um, and uh, I, my, one of my sisters has asked for a, uh, a llama as a present for her birthday. And so I thought I'd make another one. Um, I found another forked piece of wood. Uh, this is camphor laurel, same as this wood. Uh, what I like about camphor laurel is that it doesn't split. It's, uh, it's really nice to work with. So I'm going to cut the top off of here a little bit and it'll be a smaller version of the other llama, but it'll be just as cute. So one of the first things to do, I think, would be to get, uh, get off all of this bark because uh, there's a bit of sand and that attached to it. And then I'll, uh, then I'll use the bandsaw to cut this section off here and bring it up to a similar sort of shape. Just a, uh, a little tip too when taking the bark off, um, try not to uh, damage the underlying wood because this type of sculpting um, you often leave exposed uh, wood, particularly this type of, uh, uh, this type of uh, carving where you, you're doing a minimal amount of actual carving. So the actual surface of the, of the tree itself, the wood, is, is actually quite important. So now that's uh, roughly the, uh, the shape. I'm going to just uh, draw the rough shape on here. Well, that's the bulk of the carving done. You can see it's a bit of a stockier, fatter little llama, but I think that, that, that the proportions work. Um, really, I'm only just doing some fairly basic shaping. Um, and I, I think that probably took less than an hour to get to that stage. So, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put the sanding disc, a rough sanding disc, onto the uh, mini, mini carver and I'll put the dust extraction on it too. So I'll, I'll do a lot of the sort of final shaping using a rough sanding disc. Now on this uh, piece of wood there's a, a branch going through here, a natural knot here, which seems to be forming an eye. <laughs> so I'll have to make use of that. Um, what I think I might do is drill a hole in, a, in the other eye, or where the other eye should be, and put a piece of wood in there so that, uh, so that it's got two eyes. Okay, this might hurt a bit. Glue. 
Look at that. <laughs> a little bit cross-eyed, but that'll do. Sort of a startled look. So I've finished all the sanding um, and now it's just for me to oil it. Um, I recommend that you use a, uh, a decking oil uh, for this sort of uh, piece because it, it usually outdoors um, and uh, the decking oil hardens and withstands uh, the weather very, very well. And so, uh, and it's very easy to, to redo when you need to. Okay, so here's the finished item. Not quite like the other other pot with a la nice, elegant, long neck. This is what this one is rather dumpy and startled looking. However, you know, it has its own character, and that's art. And I'm sure that my sister will love it. <laughs>